in Rwanda in Kigali Airport. Uh, it's raining here actually and we have come on a mission to see three precious primates here in Rwanda. The gorillas, the golden monkeys and the chimpanzees. So we'll be spending three days on separate tours uh, with our permits already organized. Check out if we can find these amazing creatures. You're most welcome. Your name is Hamza. It's a six to seven hour journey, so we have a long trip awaiting us in the lunch break in the middle. We're coming from the Middle East, so it's nice to see some greenery. It's nice to see the trees and the forest. It's been a long four hour drive, and we are halfway, just made our way for a lunch stop. National Park and then just stopping on the side of the road to take a photo with the big sign before we are on to our accommodation after a long day of driving and it's still raining. <laughs> and we have the Uwinka Lookout if you can find it. The vegetation is super dense. So this is where we are hoping to track the chimpanzees tomorrow. Yungwe National Park is in the southwest corner of Rwanda and it's home to around 14 different types of primates which makes up around 25% of all of the primates in Africa. Well, we have finally arrived at the beautiful Kivu Lodge in Nyungwe National Park and it's 6 p.m. It's a bit later than we thought, so we're just checking in and getting to our room. We have the last minute briefings for our chimps tour tomorrow and I'm just going to collect a few skull beers for the room so that we can truly enjoy ourselves on the balcony. You can see behind me this glorious view across the river which stares directly into the Congo. So we are very close right on the border here. I'm super excited for this trip. I've really wanted to trek with gorillas for such a long time. And our choice to come to Rwanda was based on a few things but mostly the access. It's very easy to get to and the distance between the airport and the actual lodging and treks is a lot quicker. It is slightly more expensive than say Bundi National Park in Uganda but we think it's worth it because we have much more intimate experience. There's a larger concentration of gorillas in the Volcanoes National Park where we'll be going trekking and it's also the original place where gorilla trekking began. So for ease of access, if you only have a few days to do a gorilla trek uh, combined with the golden monkeys or chimpanzees, I'd highly recommend Rwanda flying into Kigali. And you can speed up the process by driving directly through to Volcanoes National Park, which is only about two to three hours. We've come a little bit further down to Nyongwe National Park, um, but that's just in order to see the chimpanzees. If you do only want to see the gorillas, then go straight across the volcanoes and you'll be right there in a few hours time. Contrasting to this, if you decide to go to Bundi National Park, you can find Kigali, but you do have to then cross the border back into Uganda, which is just a little bit more of a path. Um, or you will fly into Entebbe uh, Airport, and it's a very long 9-10 hour drive down to Bundi from there. So this just seemed like the natural conclusion to come here. It's easy access, uh, really high concentration of gorillas, a lot of history and culture, and can't wait to get up close and personal with these magnificent creatures. For now, it's an early night after a very extensive journey, <laughs> flying overnight and driving all day. Dinner and then bed for us. Ready for the trek. <laughs> Ready for the trek. Can we put low pro bag on? Let me turn around. Let's see the size hero. of this thing. The size is bigger than you. Safari pirate. Yeah. 
with a instead of a parrot on yeah. your shoulder, you've got um, a GoPro. GoPro. <laughs> Got a good sleep. Well, I know you can't see me. <laughs> That's because it's 4.30 a.m. We were up at four o'clock. I'm so glad we got an early night last night and we are off to find some chimpanzees. Packed breakfast awaits. We are ready. We've made our way to the Awinka lookout point, waiting for our guide. It's 6 a.m. Rwanda looks small on the map, but there is a lot of driving here. Our guides have arrived. One last bathroom break before we leave. I've just bought myself some new Columbia hiking boots, which I barely ever use in the past, but uh, the terrain here is so muddy and unpredictable. So let's see how they go. I haven't really broken them in yet. I do not think these boots will be this pristine for much longer. So thank you, uh, Jean-Pierre is my name. Yeah, I'm going to be your guide in the chimpanzee tracking. I think this is your first time here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, we have many species of, uh, of plants and animals. For the plants, we have 1,068 plant species. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, about the animals, we have 13 primate species. We have uh, 340 uh, bird species. We have about 85 mammals. Tracking in Nyunga, we do uh, chimpanzee tracking as the, our main activities. Uh, we even do crobos monkeys, great chicken manga bay, and silver monkeys. Uh, in Nyunga, we have about uh, 500 chimps, okay, uh, but, but, uh, but they live in uh, the different communities. Yeah. And now we are going to do the Maiwe community. Okay. It is the biggest one where it is composed about uh, over 60 chimpanzees. Over 60. Really? Well, yeah. Okay. So they live also on on big habitat range. Okay. Or no, they live on 60 kilometers square. Oh wow. Okay. So which means sometimes yeah. uh, we can see it uh, very easy, uh, yeah. difficult, um, and more difficult. Sometimes yeah. we even lose it. But okay. I don't think that today I don't want it today to lose it. No. Okay, we just had our briefing. Our wonderful Jean Pierre will be our guide for today, and we've got a porter. This lovely man will be trekking around with a lot of art photography here. He's even got a little GoPro strapped to his shoulder, so I'll get some interesting viewpoints from there. We're up and away! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Very excited. Whenever you sign up for a primate trekking in Rwanda or Uganda or the Congo, uh, you never really know how long you're going to be out for. You may come across a family after an hour or two, or it could be eight hours. So you need to prepare for a long walk. We've got a lot of water, some snacks, and who knows when we will come across them. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Checking out the birds Thanks. in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Just making our first little trip down into the deep jungle. Wow. <laughs> Glad I've got some grip on these shoes. That's for sure. Just had our first loud animal noise and got all excited. We've come across them, but just a bird. Just a bird. Stand on my Fancy cobweb device. My arm. There are loads of cobwebs here. Yep. <laughs> no spiders yet, though. We are the only two people hiking in this part of the forest <laughs> for this community of chimpanzees today. So feeling very spoiled and very lucky. We've made our way deep into the forest now. The radio walkie-talkies are in full swing. We're here in Rwanda in the winter time. <laughs> and uh, it's quite wet underfoot. So it's been raining a lot over the last few days. So I'm very glad I've got some footwear with good grip. It's really worth considering the time of year that you do come because it can change your overall experience. We're walking uphill, sorry for the breath. <laughs> um, but park permits won't change according to the season, so you may as well come in the good season. Uh, keeping in mind that it can get quite hot in the summer, um, but during the winter there's a bit of rainfall, so 
I'm really enjoying it so far. The terrain is slippery but not at all unmanageable and it's quite cool so we can hear the waters, we can hear waterfalls flowing and lots of bird life so it's really calm and peaceful. So there's really a lot that goes into a trip like this. When I first sat down and said, I want to hike and see the gorillas, I didn't realize what lay ahead of me. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things to consider. So firstly, what animals you want to see, the cost of the permits to the national park, um, flight schedules, where you're coming from, how long you have to travel, and the accommodation style that you'd like to stay in. So in terms of the animals, the most popular is of course the gorilla. Um, followed shortly by the golden monkey. That would be where the majority of people choose to spend their time. Um, but there's a lot more around the countries of Rwanda and Uganda and the Congo to consider. So obviously we've branched out a little bit. We're coming to see the chimpanzees. That's a little bit further south in Rwanda. But they also have the owl-faced monkeys here and the very unique looking colorless monkey. The other thing to consider is, of course, the cost of the park permits. And Rwanda is one of the most expensive. The gorilla permit in Rwanda and Volcanoes National Park is 1,500 US dollars. And currently on the chimpanzee trek that we're doing, this is $100 for the park permit and $150 for the trek. So 250 US dollars total. Just as a comparison, if you were to book in Uganda, which is slightly a little bit more difficult oops, to get to. Uh, that park permit is $750. So that's a much cheaper option um, if you are keen to push you that. That's in Windy National Park. Fortunately for us, we were able to fly from the Middle East, which is almost the center of the world. So it made flight schedules a little bit easier for us. We flew direct from Dubai to Nairobi and then to Kigali in Rwanda. Now the accommodation styles range from budget to mid-range to exclusive upper end. Uh, we're staying in the mid-range and it's really comfortable. We had our own private ensuite, really lovely packed breakfast, included dinner last night. Oh, I can't do this going up here. Walking downhill now, so a little bit easier to talk. We've just made it into a clearing. Uh, it's been quite dark so far because we've been walking under the canopy of the forest. I can 100% vouch on my Columbia boots. They are so comfortable. I would highly recommend these. <laughs> One hour in. Yeah. We found them. Oh, okay. yeah. Up here. Up here. Up here. Yeah. We have found our way into a little narrow track. And it's very serious on the walkie talkie right now. So we're hoping that there's some chimpanzees up there. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Found our tracker. Yep. Then the thing of the summer. You see the monkey? Oh yeah. There's a small monkey. It's monkey already. The monkey is not chimpanzees. <laughs> so we just found our tracker after about an hour and a half of walking, and our first monkey, a silver monkey, sitting up in the tree. I think the chimpanzees are very close now. Tracker has found the chimpanzees, but they are on top of the hill that we're climbing. So we're skirting around to find them and meet them as they're moving on up. So we are finding, <laughs> we are on the move to find the chimpanzees on the move. The scrub under here is a lot more challenging to walk through now. Slowly, slowly. Piano, piano. 
Shui Shui. <laughs> We're gonna get in there. Well, I just took my first little tumble to the splits on the jungle floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Steep now. It's not easy. This is tricky work. Oh. What goes up? Surely can't keep going up. Chimpanzees, but they're quite high up from the trees, so we're just going to wait patiently for them to try and come down. to relax and rest. It's been a huge climb, two hours of trekking. That is definitely hard work. Yep. Here come the large limbs. So at the moment we are surrounded by four chimpanzees. Just trying to get into a good position to take the photos. These chimpanzees weigh about 40 to 60 kilograms each and it's incredible how they can just so precariously balance on very narrow branches without falling off. So we've been with the beautiful chimpanzees now for about well, just over an hour and it's time to head back to the car. We've got about an hour and a half trek back. Then we're heading to the Nyangwe National Park Visitor Centre to check out the swing bridge. They've got a huge suspension bridge that we're walking across and then a five to six hour drive to Volcanoes National Park. And that's situated on the northwest side of Rwanda and that is where we will be based for the next two nights ahead of our gorilla trek tomorrow and the golden monkeys on our final day. Cannot wait, so much more in store. I, I can ask you one question, so how many chimpanzees do you think we do, do they saw? Uh, I think we saw four. Yeah, yeah. Four? Four is different ones, yeah. Nyungwe National Park is one of the best and one of the only parks in the world where you can see the chimpanzees. So it's incredibly special and the feeling of seeing them in the wild is unbelievable, especially after trekking in the mud for two to three hours. <laughs> what a day. To see the chimpanzees, you will need to head under some very thick bush and scrub in the jungle and that's when all these clothes, all the clothes recommendations come into it. So the sturdy boots and having long windbreaker type apparel so that you're not being com continually scratched. Some of my final thoughts on trekking for the chimpanzees in Yongwei National Park. It's quite a challenge and this has been probably one of my most difficult hikes. I've done, I've walked up Table Mountain in South Africa in my flip-flops before. <laughs> Not advisable. Um, and Devil's Peak, Youngest Hook National Park. I've climbed Machu Picchu along the Lara's Trek and up Huayna Picchu. I've climbed to the top of Mount Kosciuszko, which is the highest part in Australia. And the thing that sets this apart is that the terrain is just quite unpredictable and difficult to walk on. So, so when you're standing on the ground, your foot is slipping away and the branches aren't rooted into anything because they're sweeping across from a tree on the other side. And yeah, it's all, uh, it's quite difficult and challenging walking over tree beams and shifting ground. Um, so I think that's the major challenge. It's just a bit aerial. You look up from above with the branches and beams coming at you from above and also below with the leaves and jungle debris. That's just, basically under, it's basically lying on top of water, so the terrain is what makes this a bit more of a challenge. 
there's not many things to hold on to along the way. So it's an inability to grasp hold of something if you're feeling unsteady, but absolutely worthwhile. It's really incredible to see chimpanzees in their natural habitat. One of the only places in the world that you can actually do that. And Nyungwe National Park has one of the highest concentrations of them also, so incredible place to come if you're on the hunt for some chimpanzees. We didn't think we would see this part of the day, but we finally made it back to the Welcome Centre. So today we do this one, the short one. Yishi, yishi. Yishi, yishi. Yeah, <laughs> the one and a half. Okay. We do this one. Do you know fan? This one. Okay. Uh -huh. But the big one is Igishigishigi, but uh, in English uh, it's called the tree fan. Tree fan. Yeah, so these smart little trees here have outbeat all the monkeys. Uh, their red colour deters them from being eaten by the monkeys who think it's poisonous. It's not poisonous, but it means the tree gets to live a bit longer. It's open in 2010. Yep. When working on the canopy, yeah. it's holding arms for the bean table and working on the middle because when working on the side, it's more shaking, shaking. I show you, for example, it's working like this. Yeah. On the middle. Oh, yeah. It's more shaking, shaking. So we take many pictures, it's allowed. But be careful for your phone and camera. So when your phone falls down, you can say goodbye, my phone. <laughs> okay, here we are on the Canopy Bridge in Yungwe National Park. And this trail takes about an hour and a half to complete from the visitor center. It's got some amazing views across the national park. That's pretty cool. Amazing, yeah. Right in the centre is the very hairy point. <laughs> Looking down and just seeing these huge tall trees miles away from me. How is it? It's not scary? Oh, no, it's not really scary. It's okay. a bit bouncy, but it's much harder coming up, isn't it? There is not much between me and a massive drop below. Uh, the bridge is quite wobbly and rickety. Uh, I'm almost across the other side. This definitely feels like something straight out of Indiana Jones. Anyone with a fear of heights, probably reconsider doing this walk. Back on solid ground, amazing experience, highly recommend that. So this is the canopy walk and swing bridge tour in Nyungwe National Park. Up we go. Okay, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good. 